My name is uh, Martin Klaas and, and uh, welcome to another edition of Light Talk. We are currently in the middle of uh, COVID-19 uh, affecting the whole world, affecting us personally, affecting our business. Um, but I'm recording this from my office. Um, we are still uh, operating from office, but international travel has been stopped completely. Um, we still have some meetings here and there, but most is uh, being done through conference calls. Many countries are in total lockdown also, so it doesn't make any sense to go and travel and then find yourself in quarantine on arrival and uh, quarantine when you're back. Um, so it's quite a grim picture, but uh, I have to say that uh, overall, at the moment, um, business is still going okay. Um, we are working, uh, we've got quite a lot of work, uh, and most of uh, everything is being dealt uh, through, uh, through the conference calls. Uh, we have quite a lot of them, sometimes three, four a day. Uh, and I think, uh, personally, uh, I'm lucky to be in Singapore. Uh, things seem to be uh, under control. Uh, and I think that uh, this is the time where true leadership uh, will shine. We will see which countries are organized, uh, which countries can deal with it, and which countries have uh, leaders that uh, can stand uh, the pressures of uh, what this uh, situation asks from uh, people when they come together. Um, I don't think there's a place for blaming, for politicizing. We need to stand together, we need to understand what's going on, we need to be transparent about what's going on. Uh, and I think um, uh, we need to be proactive, we need to look ahead and um, try to uh, look positively and uh, see how we can go through this. Um, in Singapore, things are, are pretty uh, normal. Uh, bars and restaurants are still open, public transport functions normally. Uh, it's only when you go into buildings um, that you need to get your temperature checked and then um, they're quite sophisticated already. They have uh, apps for your mobile phone, you can QR scan um, the, the, um, the label and then uh, you can get self-declaration about um, your contacts, about where you've been, uh, what the situation about your health, whether you have any temperature. So it pretty much uh, comes back to your own um, social discipline, social responsibility, uh, and just fill in. And we've got it also here in the office. Um, when people come and visit us, um, they just self-declare where they have been and how they are uh, physically in terms of, uh, of their health. Um, so except travel, uh, travel restrictions, uh, our business is not uh, really affected. Um, there will possibly be an economic uh, downturn later on. Um, it's quite uh, to be expected that that will happen. Um, so we are trying to look ahead, um, trying to uh, eliminate uh, unnecessary expenses or, or expenses that are non-essential, uh, maybe it's a better word. Maybe if we can defer taxes, um, if we can uh, also maximize the speed of uh, some of our work, because the more we can finish, the more we can invoice and uh, while people still seem to be able to pay the invoices that we send them. Um, you don't know how that will change, so we're trying to maximize uh, our time here to get as much work done as we can and uh, invoice as much as we can. Um, but um, otherwise, uh, we are trying to uh, collaborate and communicate with our clients clearly what we are, what we are doing, uh, where we are and, and um, how we think of uh, progressing with work. Um, and also take advice from their side, how they want to progress and uh, try to uh, establish that uh, cooperation to make things smooth and uh, get everybody to, to work on that. Um, we also have time on our hands in a way, because since we are not uh, traveling, uh, this is something that uh, maybe for many people is uh, unexpected or maybe unusual. Uh, I never have that issue that I don't know what to do, uh, but um, having this sort of so-called downtime, um, maybe uh, allows us to look uh, towards the future, do things that we didn't have time to do, uh, prepare um, for things that we could do. I mean, I personally uh, spend a lot of time now in looking uh, towards the digital future. Um, and now that we are doing a lot of uh, virtual conferencing and, and doing everything uh, through the internet uh, and communicate that way, um, people may also understand that that may be part of our future once uh, we have gone through this uh, whole episode. 
Um, so we do that with our LDOT platform. We're spending a lot of time in developing our portal at the moment because we have a bit of extra time. Um, but uh, I think overall people could think of how they can improve, maybe uh, look at things that uh, they never had time for to do and uh, see how they can use their time to, uh, to improve, maybe learn new things. Um, I will think that um, having this time should be uh, positively engaged. Um, to try to improve yourself, learn new things and uh, be ready from uh, when it's over so that you can uh, start with a fresh mind, maybe even energized. I do think, um, I do see though uh, that um, people start doing things that they didn't do before. Um, on social media, I've seen people suddenly appear on social media that I haven't seen there for ages. Uh, my uh, local gym in my apartment uh, suddenly uh, sees more people than before. Uh, I guess people are more at home and uh, may uh, use that time to do these kind of things. Um, so I would say uh, we need to be socially responsible. Um, we need to um, look ahead. And if there's one advice uh, that I learned and that uh, somebody gave me is that don't act like you don't want to get the virus. Act like you have the virus and try not to pass it on. I think that's a great advice. So I would say uh, be safe, stay well. Stay positive for specifically, I think that's also important. There's no need to panic. We'll get through it. We'll speak soon.